Oh, it's recording. There you go. Oh, hey. Woo. Record, record, record. Did you press record? All right. All right. Wait, wait, wait. No, you're, no. Yeah, no, we're doing it. We're doing right. it. Head out of here. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jorge. This is my senior capstone. Let's get started. These past four years have been some of the best years of my life. In the last 48 months, I've made new friends, participated in several incredible retreats, shared adventures with amazing people, accomplished many goals, and most of all, became the man I am today. I am so blessed to be able to walk through those doors every single day and be a part of this amazing community. Let's take a walk down memory lane. The year is 2014. It's freshman year, I'm a scrawny, nerdy kid, and it's compass day. My leaders tell me to look around. These are your brothers now. And I'm thinking to myself, what? I can't relate to these guys. My parents are from Peru and Chile. And I'm from Miami, where it is very diverse. But here in Colorado, I'm surrounded by these people. And I never thought in a million years would I be calling them my brothers. Now the first home football game finally arrives and they make all the freshmen stay after school. We're forced to watch Remember the Titans and we're given some t-shirts to decorate and paint later. Now I'm not a big football guy and the few friends I had at the time weren't in my room, so I snuck out. I went to the gym and drew the Raider Night Mural. When it was time for pizza, the Rowdies were like, hey, find us the best looking t-shirt out there. and they ended up bringing me up in front of the entire 2018 class. So at the time, I was still trying to figure out who am I going to be in high school. Middle school was a disaster, and this is a whole new chapter, a clean slate. Who am I going to be? And at that moment, I knew. I'm going to be the creative guy who always thinks outside the box, who is open to growth, and willing to inspire others with his talents. And that's who I became. I picked up the camera and started making cool videos with my friends. But the only time I had to film was during cookie time and lunch. But no one went outside. Come on guys, we are all strangers hiding behind the screens of our iPads. But like Yes Theory said, strangers are only friends we haven't met yet. So I did what was right. I brought my soccer ball to school and started inviting kids to come play outside. Yo, why? where's your soccer ball? Then they started bringing their friends and soon it rolled into this big thing where we were the group to hang out with when going outside. We brought boomerangs, frisbees, hacky sacks, you name it. And Mr. Bruno, oh, that guy, he hated us. Um, he didn't like us. He would always yell at us to stop because we, he thought we would break one of the windows in the pack. And the pack was brand new, so I can see how we were a problem. Moving on, sophomore year. Um, a lot of the same shenanigans, only we established who our friend group was and we started talking to people in the girls division. Junior year. Junior year was a little different. This is when it started dawning on me that after this, we're out of here. And then we're gone. Around this time, a very popular question started popping up. Jorge, why do you film so much? And I would normally answer with a quick, oh, it's just a hobby. But deep down below, here's what was really going on. Back in freshman year, Mr. Dawkins said something that really stuck out to me. We were asking questions like, oh, what was it like back when you were a Regis student? And he said something on the lines of, yeah, I remember having really fond memories of my friends, but, you know, I can't remember their faces. And I was like, whoa, 
because they didn't have Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat back then. And that really scared me because these are some of the best years of my life and I want to capture this. I want to remember these moments with my friends. I want to cherish this. That way in 10, 20, 50 years from now, I can look back and I can remember, wow, these are what Jorge's last few years of his childhood looked like. And I never want to forget that. You know change is hard, but it's mandatory. <sighs> okay, as the seniors were getting ready to graduate, I noticed it was soon our turn to fill in their shoes. We were going to be the leaders of Regis Jesuit High School. And just like that, we were seniors. Were we ready? Um. Um. What the heck? It's already been like four years. I suppose this is a part where I had a flashy montage about all the great times I had this year. But not today. Instead, I'm simply going to tell you about what I've learned thus far and what Regis Jesuit High School has taught me. One, you need to seize the day. Today, put very little trust in tomorrow because by then, it'll be senior year. You'll look back and realize, oh man, I missed out on a lot of things I wish I could have done. Number two, you've got to be a man with and for others. You can't enclose yourself behind your computer screens. Go outside, meet new people, serve those in your community in need. Too bad these days are numbered because absolutely nothing lasts forever. So as we're closing in on this chapter, we can reflect how can we better ourselves in the future. Don't just dream about your desires. Set goals for yourself because dreams are made up of big fluffy clouds, goals have a finish line. Take a moment, give yourself some time to reflect on who's been there for you. Who are the people most important to you in your life? Who's always already there when you need them? Thank them for everything they've done for you. The big things, the small things, even the simple things like keeping you company or driving you places. Cherish those moments. Keep them close to your heart because these four years are some pretty important years in your life. And so I hope you made them count because nothing lasts forever. So as long as you stand by me, I promise to always be there by your side. Wow.